Yo, what's up, guys? This is Resurrect Toy bringing you some Call of Duty Advanced Warfare gameplay. And pretty much, I bought this game today, and I had it pre-ordered. So, a lot of people have been telling me, oh, this game's good, this game's great. And I was like, okay. Um, well, I didn't like the old Call of Duties. Like, I used to be a really big Call of Duty fan. Like, um, Call of Duty Black Ops. Like, I would play that game a lot. Honestly, I spent a lot of time on that game. Like, before I even, like, dis discovered Grand Theft Auto V, that was my game. Like, nobody could beat me on that game at all. But, besides that, after I found GTA, everything just went blank for Call of Duty. Like, I never, ever, ever wanted to play it again, truthfully. But, you know, I saw Advanced Warfare out. A bunch of people started buying it, and I was like, okay, so I'm just going to join the bandwagon and buy it. I'm probably not going to like it. It's probably just going to stay on the shelf for a few years, but I was like, who cares? Uh, I spend money on stupid shit anyway, so, you know, Advanced Warfare is not doing anything wrong. So I buy this game, so I get it, and I'm looking at it, I'm like, okay, so it doesn't look that bad. I'm like, I'm going to wait to play it. I got the special edition, and so eventually I went and I downloaded, let me look at it right now. I went and downloaded everything. You know, I got the Day Zero Edition. It looks pretty good. So I went and downloaded all that. And today I went to go play it. And I was with Jinx. I was with Jinx. Yeah, Jinx Ravino. That is, uh, what's his name? Enemy UAV online. That is Addictions. Okay, so me and Addictions were on there. And I don't think I got to play with him yet. I feel really bad for that. I didn't get to play with him at all. I'm sorry, Addictions. But, um,. That's right. Yeah, he was doing some on YouTube anyway. But I still feel pretty bad. But really, I started playing this game, and it's a really good game, I'm just gonna tell you guys. Like, even though I went negative this game, this is like my second game. Like I didn't I didn't think to record my first game. That would have been a good video, first game of Advanced Warfare. I probably should have done that, but I didn't. I'm sorry. And but I got this game. I went negative this game, sadly, like I said. In the first game I did really positive though. I don't even know how I did it. I was level one. I think people are noobs on this game. Where this Enemy sniper out. Drone above. But yet there's like there's that one tryhard you always find above. in this game that's like dropping DNA bombs everywhere. So that's not good. Um Yeah, I started playing this the AK I think it's the AK twelve. I think it's called that. Um I really like that gun. I've always liked the AK guns and the, and you know, the Black Ops 1, Black Ops 2, uh, all of them. Ghost, Ghost has a nice version of the AK. The AK is just always a gun, except for on Grand Theft Auto. Do not use that gun on Grand Theft Auto. It's horrible. It's trash. You can use it for short range on Grand Theft Auto, but now I'm going off topic. I'm sorry. Um, yeah, I started playing that. I really like it. The spawns aren't bad. There's not a lot of spawn trapping. Which I'm, I'm not against spawn trapping anyway. I think if you can spawn trap somebody, then you're fine. I feel like a lot of pro people do that. It's fine. I just, I hate getting spawn trapped though. It's just the feeling of it. I hate it. Um. Let's see what else. There's not a lot of noob tube kills. I don't even, I don't think there is noob tubes in this game. I haven't watched like any reviews on it. I didn't see any really. Um. No really, no people really throwing a lot of flashes either. I don't know what the deal with that is. Like, there's no stun grenades being thrown. Nothing like that. Correct me if I'm wrong, but I think there there still is uh, stun grenades and shit like that. In there. But really, um, about it, really. It's just a heck of a lot better game. But that might be where it just came out. Don't hold it against me in the future if it turns out like Ghost or something. Just take my word for it. This game is really fun, whether or not you're liking it or disliking it. <coughs> Shit, my bad, I got a call. But anyway, I want to get into some more stuff while I've got this video going. Um, a lot of people, they've been asking me why I joined NNA, and I'm going to go ahead and tell you. I'm going to tell you the full story. Um, well, since probably like February, when I first started playing GTA, uh, we got into a crew v crew with Yakuza, and I'm not going to tell you what clan I was in, but pretty much we played Yakuza, and they destroyed us. They literally did by like 100 kills. 
I did not, I didn't know what the hell they were doing. I was like, you guys have the auto aim glitch. This was back when everybody was noobs. And they were like, okay, whatever. And I always hated these dudes with them. I always hated them for that. I always thought they had auto aim. Which they probably did, don't get me wrong. But they still, like, they weren't that bad without the like, You get know what I'm saying? These were actually some skilled people. So one day I look up Yakuza on YouTube and I find NNA versus Yakuza exposed. I'm like, okay, goody goody, what the hell is this? And NNA's actually giving these guys a good fight back then. Like, NNA's actually slapping them a little bit. And so at that point in time, I became like a huge fan of NNA. And like for six months, I was just like trying to get in. I met Abraxas, that's It's the Sano. Um, Abraxas was part of them. That made me kind of closer to it. Uh, me, and, me and Abraxas were kind of close towards like the end. Like, yeah, you get what I'm saying. But still, I'd always like occasionally talk in the parties with him and I would just like, you know, it would be weird just in the party and I'd just like leave. I don't know why. I was always afraid of like people like that. I don't know. It always just got to me. I always the thought they'd go, like, oh, you're bad or something. But now that I'm good, you know, they can't really say I'm bad anymore. But back then they could. But anyway, like the other day, uh, LAV Capone, that's my boy. A lot of you hate him, but that's my boy. Syndromes. Um, he got me into a party with Monty. I don't have much time left. I'm gonna hurry this up. And Monty, he was, they were all playing Ghost, and he was like, Monty, can you 1v1 this guy and like try him out real quick? And Monty was like, yeah, that's that's fine. Yeah, I 1v1 him. And I was just being quiet. So Monty went to go get on Grand Theft Auto that night, and Grand Theft Auto was not working at all. And he was just like, oh, well, we'll just have to 1v1 tomorrow, I guess. And I was like, okay, that's fine, dude. And so the rest of that night, me and Monty and like all the MMA people, we just went on uh, Call of Duty Ghost and like, just did our thing all night. And that was different to me, honestly. Because I've never seen people like that just like pick you up right right there and start playing with you when you're wanting a tryout. And really, Monty is probably the coolest guy I've ever met in this game, honestly. Like me and Monty can just sit for hours and talk. But the next day, after all that happened, I had a lot of fun that night. We uh, we got our 1v1. <laughs> So Monty destroys me on this 1v1. I've been on Ghost all day, dude. He destroys me 10 4 the first game. Alright, second game, I get my aim back, and I guess it was just the power going to join. But the second game, I beat him 10 8 and I got him. And ever since then, I've been helping them out and I love them to death. But, you know, I gotta kinda go right now. This is, uh, this is Resurrect Toy, guys. Thank you for watching this video. I hope you liked it. Like and sub. Thanks.